For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M A S S A J A D Y.com. Hi, Masajadi here from the High Up Performance Consciousness Podcast, Exponential Intelligence. Really excited. To be in this setting, I don't normally make house calls, but this was such an intriguing, say, uh, appeal that I made a house call. Uh, we're here, I don't know, we're in California. Hi. <laughs> Lovely woman here. I've worked with her. She's worked with me for a while. And she's into crystal skulls, and she understands or has a lot of knowledge. But she came into possession in a strange way, very strange way, and she could tell you about it. Um, and that's what we have there, this crystal skull that's wrapped heavily in foil because, well, it's got a lot of intensity. So do you want to tell a little bit on how you got the crystal skull and then as you've had it, what what's happened? Yes, yeah, so it was really, really interesting. Um, a gentleman gave this skull to me uh, knowing that I really, you know, uh, I'm into the skulls. And he said, why don't you keep it for a few days? So I was like, okay. And I felt dark stuff coming off of it, mm -hmm. but I thought, oh, I can clear it. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> well, was I wrong? Um, after a few days, nightmares that started coming. Wow. Um, just everything in the house just felt funky. My girls felt funky. My partner felt funky, just everything. And then I literally thought I was like starting to lose my mind. I was out of my body. I, I cannot even explain it. And I didn't even, I, did, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so long story short, I reached out to you mm -hmm. and I didn't know where else to turn. Right. And I said, can you please help me? Because I don't know what to do with this. And that's when you said, or face it to me, wrap it in a, you know, a yeah, lot of tin right. foil <laughs> at that point. Right. right. So her story, again, things got funky, funkier than what you see in the Hollywood movies. Uh, briefly did like an emergency session on her, cleared the space, cleared her girls, herself. Uh, so things got kind of back to normal, right? Yeah, like yeah. literally just a couple hours after, you know, we yeah. had contact, or contacted you, so. I started all of a sudden feeling, oh my gosh, I'm back. Back to like, And then I, yeah, my girls felt the house and they were like... It's amazing Very stuff, and what we're going to do now is well, unwrap. So I told her, because she had put it in salt water, hence the bucket there. Uh, um, <laughs> but that just might magnify uh, the situation. So I told her to wrap it up in a lot of layers of aluminum, because well, even if you wrap up your phone in aluminum, it can't make calls, right? Because it doesn't send out its signal. So very powerful signals that it sent out. And we're going to see... You can see it in real time uh, as I open the skull, what it's all about, because it's about, you said about 8,000 years old? And that's what the scientist yeah. who gave it to me said, that he had tested it and it was approximately 8,000 years old. Yeah. And even the scientist giving you an 8,000 year old relic, you would go, it's something that's really precious, right? Something that's museum quality. It's like, why would he just hand it off? Well, he probably wanted to get rid of it, you know, because it's just... Start. It kind of reminds me, and I, and I told her to read the uh, the Einstein prophecy. Wow, that's a lot of layers. Nice job. <laughs> uh, that's big enough. Um, but if you've ne if you've ever uh, if you feel interest, read the Einstein prophecy. It's basically opening up um, like a portal, right? In the Einstein prophecy. They opened up a, a sarcophagus, and then all of a sudden, say the darkness of that reality came in, and well, it destroyed. Um, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing. Uh, this is the same thing. So, and and as this phone is really just a little. I know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no, you did a nice job because you need a lot of foil. Um, but even through the foil, I, as soon as I walked into the space, and, you know, my daughter felt it too. You could just feel, you know, the frequencies that it sends out. And I'll be talking about the frequencies that it sends out. Um, and, ooh, here it is. Whoa, this is really, oh, whoa. This is really, really, really crazy stuff. So here's what it looks like. Um... It's almost like a mechanical 
version. Um, well, I don't know if you can feel it. Um, but do you feel it, honey? The skull? Yeah. Yeah, it's just so cool. Just gross. Yeah, it's really gross. Um, so, and I'll read the skull. So what, what I was about to say before you get, you know, you get pulled in is that, so this skull, if you bring the, I don't know how many skulls out there, probably 13, but if you bring like four, it needs three others. Uh, and maybe that's why you're invited, you know, because you would have access to maybe the other skulls. If you put them to close in proximity, it almost creates like a pyramid and then and then as that pyramid, it, it opens up a portal. It's, so this reality works in, uh, let's just say a 24 hour, you know, day, time, space reality. Uh, and everything's designed around that and functions around that. Um, this is very different. This works in another, say, time, space reality. Not as heavy as this one though, um, but very, very dense type realities. So it is, it is like an alien feel, and I, right now I can feel it like in my chest area, just like literally, you know, pull because it, it wants. Seems like it just like wants to collect. Yeah, it just wants to collect and absorb stuff. But sorry, dude, um, I'm not for sale. <laughs> uh, neither is anybody else. Mm. Am I correct? Does it feel like almost like a snowball? You know how it's just like making its way through and you're just collecting more and more. That's what it feels like. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, but you know what? It's it's interesting. Does it look? Does it feel evil? Does it feel dark? Yes, it does. But as I sense it, it is out of this reality. It is alien. I know that, and it's very, very. It's older than almost like Earth, from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. So it's been here before, um, or the consciousness, or I don't know the the beings. It's been here before, way before man came about. Uh, and even what it's made out of, it's made out of several different, you know, stones. Uh, and a good portion on the inside is literally something that's not from this world. So, for example, kind of like a, like a snowball or after billions of years, you know, you have something uh, on the like an egg, you know, you have something that's not out of this world. It's, you know, dropped in or put here. And then over time, you know, things form around it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So layer upon layer upon layer. When you were talking about that, I literally almost, like, I see compartments or even just yeah. one something. And it almost looks actually like a yellowish type yeah. material or whatever right. that is. Like it's encoded or... Right. Um, and it's really confusing. It's, it's confusing to me what I'm getting. And first, it's like it wants to consume you, but then in reality, it's actually a benevolent type being that was probably, it probably came into humanity. Um, yeah, it probably, it came into humanity and started to see, say the wars, the destruction of humans, and I think their civilization went through that process as well. So, you know, it's like we're, this earth space is a new project and, you know, there's beings, there's other realities that look into, look upon us. And it's like, oh shit, you know, they're making the same mistakes we did, right? So they came in and it's like, okay, let's help these people. And what we'll do is literally like absorb all the destruction that, 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 that humanity does so I see a lot of wars a lot of souls being lost uh, and sucked into it does that make sense so the pain of humanity this literally pulls through so why does it if it was trying to help why has it been so dest destructive if it's trying to help why is it so destructive really a great question but this is a reflection of the darkness that we are so when you mm -hmm. see it when you're around it you know, that, that, that mm -hmm. thing that, it, to me, even, it's like, God, that's really dark, that's evil, right? But then if it's holding the evil and darkness of humanity, what are you going to get? Right. 
right? It's like, and then you go, shit, that's really dark. Well, if you look at humans and the atrocities that humans do, even the stuff that that we don't even know about, you know, even the stuff that's even the gory, think of the goriest movie and then multiply that. Yeah. People have done that to each other. Yeah. And it really makes me sad that people well, actually do that to each other. Right. So this is just pulling, and I see, you know, through wars, you know, where somebody, say, captures another uh, civilization, you know, or a tribe, and they just, like, uh, just kill them and just mutilate their bodies as a sign that they've won over this tribe. From That's one frequency or consciousness. Um, there's others where... Um, and this isn't them. This is what humans do back in the day where they used to drink their opponent's blood to energize them or be part of that, like owning their owning their space. Um, so what is it? What do you mean, what is it? Well, it's just sad. So is that why I was getting to the lost souls that I was feeling that sadness? Oh, probably. Yeah. Because I'm feeling all those lost souls. Yeah. And it's, and it's not just like specific souls, it's like the consciousness of humanity has gotten so fucking dark that it's just... Mm -hmm. The brilliance that we could have been or we could be and it's still there, it's a... I think right now it's like a... from what I'm seeing, it's like a fork in the road. This new paradigm that's coming through, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, do we go down the consciousness that we're going? Basically, this is trying to avoid that. And it gets really, really ugly. Look at, you, you know what I mean? There's a lot of brilliance and then there's a lot of ugliness, right? Or do we have, say, the awakening that we have, do we go down that road, the old road, right? Or are we going to swerve and then move away from, you know, the atrocities, the control, all those things that, well, that we think are needed? It doesn't feel scary to me. It just feels like painful and heavy exactly at first it was like scary so she said it perfectly at first it was scary and then you start to go oh you're holding the pains of humans right so, you know what i mean yeah okay and very yeah. interesting because I <clears throat> my lower back is now releasing a little bit and i'm getting more at ease yeah but it's probably to your presence <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we, uh, <laughs> so maybe that's why i was drawn here and everything worked out, you know, because I don't live in California. Does that make sense? But oh, everything it's, just like boom, yes. boom, boom. So obviously very, the same way your pain body controls you, you know, people who have pain bodies, right? Uh, control you, this obviously is like, hey, let's, this, and maybe that's why the scientists dropped it off to you so it could get to me. Right, that's that exactly sense? what I was getting, yes. Yeah. yeah there's so. always, there's always that uh, that reason, right? So. It almost, mm -hmm. it's so strange. It feels like it's smiling at me now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, yes, finally somebody's Doesn't it it's feel? Me. <laughs> or it's it feels like it's smiling. Yeah. It's so, it's like. It's like kind of cute. Well, look at it now. Well, it's, well, it's, it's, it. well yes. <laughs> it feels energy, like it's smiling. Yes, and the energy is changing. Yeah. So what did you it, do? It literally feels different right now. Yeah. Yeah. So how is that? Like, what, it's what is beautiful. it? beautiful. So this is, basically this is like showing humanity that we don't have to go through all that stuff. Because right. it's like, well, I'll just read it for you. Um, well, what it's telling me, it's like, instead of recreating the wheel, want you to learn from us and not do all the destructive things that you do for control to realize who you are. So it's, it's like we've already done that. You don't have to do it again. Otherwise, you're at the same level as we were. So, you know, learn and step on our knowledge and go higher than recreating same old, well, my words, bullshit. Right. So, so people who in the past had taken this skull, they would just be destroyed by it because, um, 
And the reason why is because they would sense, like you, you know, you would sense all the destruction, mm-hmm. and then that destruction would, say, consume you. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Absolutely. But for me coming in, uh, I can hone it and understand it at a deeper mm-hmm. level, right? And then, say, take away the... It's literally, this is a depository for the pain of humanity and consciousness. Mm-hmm. Right? Not all of it, but it's like right. pulling it. Yeah. This and then the other skulls. Um, so for me, what I've just done is literally released that consciousness because it doesn't have to be held. It doesn't have to be controlled. It doesn't have to have a depository. It could just be reset into its natural state because then it's not good or bad, right? It's mm-hmm. just something that is. Like molecules, like Lego blocks, right? Consciousness are Lego blocks. You can create destructive mm-hmm. you know, realities around it at the same time. If you break it down into its natural essence, say a Lego block, it's nothing, right? Mm-hmm. And now that consciousness is nothing. So this actually, <clears throat> I think you'll actually start to see that it's not just about this, it's not about us, but I think through the world, it's almost like it'll create a wave. And maybe again, that's why I'm here. It'll create a wave of like awakening where people just like get out of their, you know, like hypno- hypnotic state and go, you know what? I don't have to be abusive to my spouse. I don't have to be abusive to, you know, my kids, my family. It starts from that. And then it gets bigger and bigger. And then it, it like pushes over the government systems, uh, you know, the political system, the, contr- the bigger control system. So it starts small from individuals and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, well, I guess this is part of that purity wave that uh, I talk about. Mm-hmm. Never expected it to be the, of an 8,000 year old skull. But, you know, when, when somebody say like me, and it is me that say brings in or starts to design consciousness. And I talked about this um, in the energy update, sweetie, yeah, in the energy update, um, like me d- designing a consciousness and, you know, creating it, even when I was a young kid, wanted, you know, this reality. Um, you'll have people like, you, you know, like, as you awaken, you'll have people on your path that'll come through and help you with that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I never thought it would come from like an 8,000 year old <laughs> skull and alien type you know, knowledge and beings. Um. So, question for you. So, the two faces on the top of the skull. So, it's, did, you, did you see that? So, there's two faces, like you have it up. So, if you turn it around, okay. you see it's two faces, but also it connects up here with their head mm-hmm. here. It's almost like one face. So, again, is that then the separation of mankind? Probably. Like, yet it's one and the same because we're all yeah I kind of I, I see it as a maybe a unity right of mankind mm-hmm. or a unity of your spirit and your physical being okay okay right and then the the face in the back which is kind of like a is like a portal that and they, what he said is is that it's the feathered serpent um, which okay. they I believe called kukumats mm-hmm <laughs> That face seems grosser. Yeah, this feels. This feels to me is the. It's almost like a totem pole or jungle or uh, the decay of nature, which is needed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. But if you turn like death, like an animal or a tree dies and then it decays. That sounds good. So that's needed in nature, but then man, over time, has taken that consciousness and then, you know, honed it into, you know, tools of war, tools of destruction, tools of abuse, tools of... So that basically represents that space. Okay. But look at this. It's so cuddly now. Right. Isn't it interesting how they literally... Will give you reflect back at you where where yeah, it ref- wow it's so it's kind of cute. It's now it's like you know it's something ugly that's so ugly that it's cute and <laughs> cuddly. <laughs> What's on the bottom? Um, um, oh, the bottom's interesting. Um, here's the bottom. 
but it's almost like a little portal thing that you can log into. It's your fingerprint? Yeah, like a frame. <laughs> you, it's like you mm -hmm. read your fingerprints and literally it feels like... Like a doorway? Yeah, like it reads your fingerprint. Uh, means both fingerprints. Um, it reads your fingerprint and if you're clean enough or pure enough, um, it'll allow you to access the knowledge that's in it. Like a passcode. Mm -hmm. You know, like a yeah, yeah. like a hard drive that mm -hmm. needs a passcode to get into. Um, so I can download that civilization's history. Are you getting pyramids and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was getting. It's almost, oh, yeah, the pyramids. So that was their form of... Um, energy. So, like Tesla, he didn't have pyramids, but he had towers. Mm -hmm. He thought of towers. Does that make sense? In which would glow, span the globe, and it would be like free energy. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what, where Tesla got his idea for that from this civilization. Because Tesla's ideas and concepts didn't come from obviously logically thinking it out, he just went into different realities. And that's why it messed him up. Uh, it really messed Tesla up because he couldn't handle the frequencies. So, um, well, there's a lot of, it's so cool. There's a lot of, there's a lot of inventions of Tesla's that are in this, Civilization. So Tesla probably connected at some level to this civilization. Um, but again, if you're not, say, strong enough or complete enough, and then you tap into that civilization like Tesla, he did go, um, he did go mentally unstable uh, and really say, well, destroyed his body. Uh, we're going to do a podcast based on Tesla. Uh, live conversations with dead people. Um, and I've wanted to do it, but maybe this is why uh, I just didn't get to, yeah. So live conversations with dead people, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna interview Nikola Tesla. Uh, a lot of his ideas just came from this civilization, from what I'm seeing. Um, electromagnetism, or how to use electromagnetism in a very different way than what's here on Earth. You just need another uh, physical property that's not quite here on Earth, but you can create it, you can duplicate it somehow. Uh, and then you can use electromagnetism to, I don't do a lot of things. Uh, I don't know all the science behind it, but if there was a scientist that was in electromagnetism or you know, metaphysics or quantum physics, I could tap into their brain and then literally understand. But to me, it's just a lot of knowledge that's coming through um, that I have no idea what it's about because I'm not, I'm not in that field. But like I said, if I can connect with a scientist, I could go, oh, this piece goes here, this piece goes here, this piece goes here, and it would help whoever, you know? So if anybody's out there that would be interested, that'd be cool. Uh, the scientist that gave this to me, would he I'm be? I'm sorry, what? The scientist that gave this to me, would he be? The scientist that gave this to you? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I don't know how long he's had it, but um, as I'm tapping into him, since he's not congruent in himself, again, the way EI looks at it, it literally is a destructive force for him because it's such, say, a pure, cleaner force. You know, it just like literally would drain him because he doesn't know how to let go of the distortions. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, oh, now what I'm seeing. Oh, they're telling me that the, he, this thing didn't mean to harm you or your family because that's against the thing. Mm, yeah. But what yeah. you're going through is all the lineage of your family. Mm. Does that make sense? So, the destructive force, the abuse patterns yeah. in your family no offense, but the alcoholism, all that stuff that's in your family, mm -hmm. you were going through time. Mm -hmm. So it probably wasn't you, but it was probably a little girl that you, you, she mentioned a story. Um, so you were clearing their 
say essence all the way down into this this is the beginning of time almost to the beginning right. of time or basically the the beginning of yeah human consciousness so in in hindsight this might have been just a really positive thing in that sense that's coming to my house to right. clear that whole lineage yeah exactly okay mm-hmm. but i'm sorry wait. so so at first it kind of reminds me of me sometimes it really does because if you're really really dark does that make sense and i come into your life you would look at to me as like really dark right does that make right. sense to you absolutely and then you realize that i'm not the dark one it's just mm-hmm. it's all the garbage that's in you and you clean it out and you go oh wow i'm really bright right, right. and you're really bright that's mm-hmm. why you see it mm-hmm. so so this actually when i came first came in you know i still have dark stuff in me it was like peeling that layer off so you'll see thank you um, you'll see in a, less than a month or two, my abilities just go boom, 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 you know? And then, well, obviously, anybody else that's following me will just escalate. Wait, wow, I'm really excited. <laughs> you just found that out because it's cool. I think it's starting to grow yeah. more Can I try it? Yeah. Put but your I thumb there, really you can see, feel. I can't really see you very much. Hmm? That's okay, you can... It feels like another world, like, in my hands. So just talk louder on kids then. It's, it feels like another like world, like in my hands. It is another world. Mm-hmm. It's another consciousness. It's another way of how time it, and space work. It feels very comfortable. Now it does. That's its like original state. Like streamlining you like up. Yeah. Because I, when I came here, like it felt like gross, but it, I wasn't like scared of it. It was just... Yeah. Like I wasn't... Mm-hmm. Like it, like it felt like gross, but it wasn't like evil. No, it was just you were seeing the darkness of humanity, which is grosser than anything that's out there. Right. So then, is there also a part of it that those lost souls that you were talking about, where basically you manage the darkness, you're releasing a, a lot of that. People. Right. So, so did you? It feels like you like have the skull to its purpose. Right. In the right way. Like right it was one. trying, but you like right. So put it back on track. Right. So this was uh, yeah. You, that's a beautiful point. Mm-hmm. This, by the way, is my daughter, Emmy. Um, brilliant being, by the way. Um, um, so this was here to save humanity, right? By absorbing our stuff. Yeah. The, so it's really concentrated, and that's what we're feeling, right? And then, so, the, and that's their way of, con- you know, but my way is basically, well, let's just dissolve it. Yeah, it feels to destroy like. It. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to exist anywhere. And that's the new consciousness I'm bringing in, by the way. Darkness does not have to exist anywhere back into, uh, and it puts it back into this natural state. Like I said, decay is a natural space of life because we need it, mm-hmm. right? To, right. like to recycle ourselves yeah. so it's putting everything back in its natural state but instead of absorbing just helping you release it yes mm-hmm. and reset it like nature would. Right. Right. right but this is obviously at a higher level mm-hmm. consciousness um, this is comes from a really love space obviously there's other like alien systems that are say more intelligent you know um Wait, they're telling me something. They're telling me that they're intelligent. Dude, no offense. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there's... So what... So they're, what they're telling me is... Um, and so what they're telling me, what does that mean? So the consciousness of this civilization, it creates a mastermind. So that's... So it's not just like one person, like but the consciousness of all that civilization telling me that it's not that it's not about intelligence, it's what you do with that intelligence. So for example, your world is high high it's not as compared to some other uh, alien civilizations, it's not as advanced, but it's very advanced compared to the density that is in this reality. So we couldn't make the rockets, we couldn't make, you know, the, 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 the cars and, you know, the cell phones and, and all that. 
Yeah, so you're very advanced for the level of density that you're at. But the, the, does that mean that you're enhanced or you're brilliant? No, because your technology will start to destroy you if you don't wake up. For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M-A-S-S-A-J-A-D-Y.com. <laughs>